given discussion, if somebody is saying something negative about black women outside of the community, most black men are going to um, most black men are going to agree with the negativity that's said about black women. They're not going to defend you. They're going to agree. Yet, when it comes to a situation, like, black women can't even listen to a man who's literally speaking facts, because the reality of it is, more aside, you can look at all the data to correspond. Most, very few black men get married. The wealthy ones marry white women. The wealthy ones, are, they're not interested in putting their wealth in the community. They're not interested in building anything for you at all. They will sit up and talk about how you should do everything as a black woman, and they're, they're quite frankly not going to provide you anything. Yet your natural your your immediate instinct is to defend them. This is why it's really hard to be the kind of guy that I am. Because when I hear stupid shit like this coming out of a stupid fucking idiot's mouth, a female in the black community, I just shake my head. But this woman pushes this message every goddamn video she does. That shit that she said was a complete fucking lie. Because before YouTube even existed, I was alive. I was raised to respect women. I was raised to defend women. And I did that when I was a teenager. Did it in my 20s. Still do it now. I even make videos on my, pre on my previous channels that I have you know, posted videos on uh, previous shows that I've done that are gone and the ones I have now where I talk about the love of my of the love for my black women and f defending them as well as critiquing the ones that swirl and critiquing the men in our community that swirl. This chick is a liar. This is her perspective on black men. It's not the full perspective from every single black woman, just like. Those black men out there that talk badly about black women in the black community, the black men of the manosphere, and I use the word man very loosely because you're not a man when you gossip, you know, and act like a little kid, you know, and act like a female. But people like this are dangerous for the simple fact that they have people that listen to them, and these people want to change the minds of people who think properly who have a free-thinking mind. Is it okay to critique people? Yes, it is. It's okay for a black man to critique black men and black women, and it's okay for black women to critique black men and their own uh, sisters in the community. But the message that this woman continues to give off is that black men ain't shit. They ain't doing nothing. Like in this video, somebody showed me this video, and I, man, it tore me up just listening to this shit because it's just... A lot of it is just fucking lies. Some of it is truth, but a lot of it is lies. Black men won't defend black women. Black men will agree with everyone who says shit about black women. Are, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I don't agree with anything that any outsider says about a woman. I would agree that some of you are, you know, very hard-headed, but there are black men that are hard-headed as well. None of us on this planet are fucking perfect. None of us. But just listening to this woman for 10 minutes is like wanting me to commit suicide because I'm killing myself inside listening to her foolishness. It's killing my brain cells. It's killing my energy. It's killing everything that's good in me when I listen to women like this and I can't do it. This is why YouTube is toxic because of men that get on here in the black community to talk badly about black women and black women like this woman who gets on here and talks badly about black men. The woman on the bottom was against uh, the swirling. Cynthia G is trying to change her mind. Then you got this woman up here that's trying to look like a goddamn Cynthia G clone with the same kind of fucking hairstyle and everything. It's just ridiculous. You know? I tire of black men that talk shit about black women. And I tire of black women that talk shit about black men. And the thing about Cynthia G is the fact that if you disagree with Cynthia G. She gets angry. Because Cynthia G knows everything. Nobody else knows a goddamn thing but Cynthia G. Then she tells you to present facts to her. You present facts to her and she tells you that's not true. Because she's done the research. All this amazing research that she's done that, you know, shows that black men ain't shit. None of us ain't shit. 
I'm not shit, despite never going to jail, despite never doing drugs, despite never drinking, despite doing what I do as a man, having a responsibility of paying my bills, you know, providing for my wife, you know, what she said that men don't do, black men don't do that, okay? If I couldn't fucking afford to have my own home, I would build my own fucking home. Then I wouldn't have to pay rent. Unfortunately, I don't have that much kind of money like I'm some kind of billionaire that can do that. But I would definitely build my own fucking house. This woman don't know what the fuck she's talking about. And then you got women that will come on here and listen to her and their minds will be poisoned by this bullshit. Just like there are black men that will be poisoned by the bullshit that these black men in the so-called manosphere have to say. Toxic goddamn people in the black community who do nothing but talk badly about one another and make money off of it. And of course, I'll be called Dusty because I'm talking about somebody like Cynthia G. I'll be called Dusty because I'm talking about somebody like Tanya TKO. I'll be reprimanded and punished for talking against a swirling bitch, okay, on YouTube that tells other black women they need to swirl too. They need to not get with black men or they need to be with anybody who's not black, same thing goes for the black men out there that ridiculed me and called me a simp for loving my women, my black females, my queens out there. I get shit from everybody. I get shit from the black men. I get shit from the black women, the ones who date outside their race. They don't like me. They don't give a fuck about me. They want to ruin me. They want to destroy me. They can't do it. It ain't going to happen. But this is the poison that is allowed to be on YouTube. And yet... I'm told that I'm fucking harassing and bullying somebody for talking against interracial dating and talking about how their channel started out talking about how good looking black men are and all of a sudden they changed the tune now. Okay? But that's harassment and bullying. YouTube is so full of shit, man. I swear to God. YouTube is so full of shit. Just like the majority of this world is full of shit. Okay? That's the reality. Like this... I'm not going to say the word again. Like this clown says the reality that's just the reality <laughs> it's really sad ladies and gentlemen but this is uh and some guys will get mad at me that follow cynthia g and tell me that i'm wrong about her but i'm not wrong about this woman this woman continuously makes videos about how black men ain't shit and she's not gonna defend them nobody gives a fuck if you defend us i don't want you to defend me i don't need no woman to defend me i need my mother to defend me i defend my mother I've been a chivalrous person since I was a teenager. I ain't never need to hide behind no fucking woman. Are you kidding me? I ain't the kind of man that does that shit. And I don't like seeing women get beat up on. I can't stand by and watch women get hit on because I would have to fucking fight. Some woman getting smacked in the face or getting punched in the face. I'm not going to stand and let that happen even if, I don't, even if I don't know her. That ain't in my blood. It's not in my DNA. I'm not like these guys out here that she's talking about. And not every black man is like that either. But she wants to categorize, generalize us all as one, as a monolith, like they say. But then when black men do the same thing to these black females, they don't like it, but they want to do it to us. We shouldn't be doing it at all. End the story. Cynthia G clones out there. People out there who are against swirling, who are listening to this fool talk about black men in the most negative way. Talking about how this white man, the video that she had on this live stream was talking the truth about black men. A white man is gonna tell me is gonna tell a black woman about how white uh, how black men really are. <laughs> when black men tell black women and tell black men how white men and white women are, we don't have to really tell you much because the evidence speaks for itself throughout the centuries. We got history books, we got evidence on video to continue today to tell you how they are with the racism. Okay? But she wants to keep on pushing this narrative. And when you talk, and you're a black woman, you're talking about how you still love black men and this and that. This woman gets upset. I seen her face, man. She got upset when this woman talking about how she still will date a black man and this and that. You know, man, I tell you, it's just amazing to me that people follow this fucking clown. It really is. And then you get called an harasser or a, bullier for, or a bully for talking shit about someone that you disagree with. Not going to their channel and constantly harassing them and trolling them, but just saying one bad thing about them. Oh, it's harassment and bullying. Yeah, the next time somebody does that to me, I'll make sure I'll do harassing and bullying too and watch YouTube don't do a goddamn thing about it. That's why these women who are swirlers who have this 
this mindset of the white savior, they go to Zaddy YouTube. Zaddy YouTube, who will save them from the big bad black man that talks badly about them because they're talking about, you know, dividing their fucking people. That makes a lot of fucking sense, right? Anyway, I just had to get this shit out. I'm going to put this shit on my channel when I get back into, this, into, the, into uh, the city again. But I want to make this video and put it on this channel right here. I made copies of it anyway just in case some motherfucker decides they, they want to flag the fucking video. I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourselves and have a good new year.